all day long. The new guy can't cover. But I, I shouldn't say that. He's been here two months. He but hasn't I left can yet. catch. It's great to have you. Hey, brother. Great to God be here. You. Yeah. So it's uh, it's fall. The leaves are soon to change, and and you're out of breath. I did. Well, I've been. We've been playing catch for a while. <laughs> Has been true. What else does fall mean for us? Michigan football. Michigan football blue, um, but it also means the start of the school year, doesn't it? Ah, that's right. School year. We have a school, don't we? We do. You've been in a parish with a school before, right? Yes, for two years and three months. It's an amazing gift, isn't it? It is. Why do we have schools in a Catholic church? It's a very good question. We have a Catholic school to teach our children the important things of life, um, discipline, education, math, science, English. But our primary job as, as teachers and facilitators at a Catholic school and as a parish is to teach our children about Jesus, mm -hmm. to foster a relationship with our children so that they can be educated in the faith. Is that what you think? Yeah, um, in fact at Immaculate Conception, the parish where I served for two years and three months, the public high school when they received the children that went to our Catholic school, the first thing that they observed is that they are outstanding human beings. So to go along with what you're saying, it's not just about the faith, that is your kids are going to get a sound formation and a sound education, but then primarily those eight years that the children spend in the setting of a Catholic school, they have a wonderful opportunity to encounter our Lord, to develop a relationship and a friendship with them, and that's something that they're going to take with them their whole lives. It should go without saying, right, that we're interested in forming our kids academically. Yeah. Uh, thanks be to God because of Mr. C and because of uh, Mrs. Liz and the great work that our faculty does at our, our parish school. We have great preparation academically for our kids. The number of kids who've gone on to be salutatorians, valedictorians is a long list. It's very impressive. I get countless comments from high school principals about how well formed academically our kids are. But much like you just said, their praise goes high beyond that or far beyond that to talk about the level of character of our kids. And we don't exist. I mean, you can, you can get a free education. In this community, there are great public schools. Yeah, there are. You can get a free education, right? So they come to us not just because um, they can get a great solid academic formation, but mostly because, at least from our perspective, we want them to be saints. And, and that really is the reason why we have a Catholic school. We have a Catholic school to introduce your children um, to the person of Jesus. Pope uh, Francis, when he was down at World Youth Day in um, Rio, he used a great image which was kind of brings back memories of our little conversation over in the grotto about watering seeds, huh? He talked about how to the kids, um, he used that parable that Jesus teaches of the sower who goes out to sow, and he throws seed in all these different places, rocky soil, hard ground, fertile soil, and he made the point of saying, ultimately the soil is our hearts, right? right? That's what has to receive the good news of the message of Jesus. And we have this incredible opportunity for eight years, sometimes for nine, if the kids are in kindergarten, to really till the soil, as you so beautifully put uh, last month, to open up their hearts so that the gospel can get planted in it, so that they leave not only ready to go to a great high school, but they leave able to make a difference in the world in which we're living, namely by introducing people to someone they've come to meet. Which is the whole purpose of being Christians is to teach and to tell others about who we know. And right, and so we don't know just something about Jesus. We don't know just the Ten Commandments. We know a person. Right. And that's who we are here at Our Lady of Good Counsels, introducing our children not to a theory, not to just the theology of the Catholic Church, but to the person of Jesus. Right. Right. And, and at the end of eighth grade, when we're sending off our kids, we want them to have grown in their, in their faith and to be in love with Jesus. I know you got a football in your hand. Pope Francis used another image at that World Youth Day. He used the image of a running a race and a relay race and a baton. And he says, when you're running a relay race, you don't just throw the baton up in the air and hope somebody will catch it. You hand it off to somebody. It's very personal. It's all about a witness. This is what I have. I'm handing it to you so that you in turn can then hand it to another. And I know for the three of us, it's certainly the case that that's why we are priests, right? To hand over to people a friendship with the person we've come to know and to love and to give our lives for. With, with, with all of your children, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to hand to them um, the reasons why they should have a friendship with Jesus and then hopefully by our witness and the witness of our faculty it becomes kind of a no-brainer for them, right? Yeah, Together absolutely. with the witness of their parents. Yeah, absolutely. So what do we expect of our parents? 
Well, we expect our parents to be actively involved in, in the, the school and in the life of the school um, by volunteering when they're able to be informed as to what's going on um, in, in the school program and also to be active members of the parish community um, to come to church on Sunday. The hours that our teachers spend teaching about our Lord and f forming this relationship a poor decision on behalf of a family that decides not to go to Mass on Sunday could really undermine a week's worth of work. So I think that's uh, certainly a part of how the parents are going to participate. Yeah, Sunday's kind of like game day, right? So yeah. Monday through Friday we're practicing. Mm -hmm. No point in practicing if we're not ever going to get a chance to play in the game, right? The game is Sunday especially. And so I know, I know that you're in the school on a daily basis as well am I and love to see Father Clement in there as well this year. And so we go into the classrooms and we're teaching the children. We interrupt math class and, and we're, we, I've taught math class with the kids and then, and then Don't related. Don't let them teach spelling. <laughs> to, not spelling though. Taught math class and then relate math to Christ and, and which is hard, right? But, but that it's important. And then, and then we're able to in, envelop the gospel and, and bring the gospel message even in all of these areas. And then we ask the kids, are you going to church on Sunday? Right. And it breaks our heart that so many of the kids aren't going to mass on Sunday. And so it really is vital to the mission our mission that we're bringing them to church on And Sunday. I think it's important to say it doesn't just break our hearts, it breaks their hearts. Yeah. It breaks the kids' it hearts. Really now the kids come to us and express a sadness. So we are, well, we're not. Let's be honest. I don't want to pretend to have a clue how crazy your life as a mom or dad is. You know, extracurricular activities, you know, being here, there, everywhere for your different uh, children of different ages. We know you're swamped because we hear it. We hear it on a lot of different levels. Um, we want to thank all of you for the effort and the investment you make in your children's lives on so many different levels. We just want to beg you at the beginning of the school year to really make an effort to hand on to them the single most important thing that any parent can give to their children, faith. And faith isn't a book, it's not an idea, it's not a notion, it's a lived friendship with the person of Jesus. So we thank you for the great work that you're doing and we look forward to being collaborators with you in uh, handing on the baton to your sons and your daughters.